Hello there guys, welcome back to another one of my CMS or Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 videos. Got to find another barn and look what I found. It's a Lincoln Continental and this other one I think it's a Ford or it's a Volkswagen. But I think I'm going to go buy both of them and see how it goes. Let's see, the Lincoln looks nice. The engine is a little bit worn out, but the body looks fine. So let's go buy a 16,000. Really nice. Not bad. I think I can make somewhere around maybe five, seven thousand dollars off of it. Send it to the garage and the other one. Oh, six thousand. That's cheap. I'm gonna make a little bit of a out of it. Let's go back to the workshop. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks nice. Although I can still do the paint job because I still haven't reached the level where I can do that. But this looks nice. I wish I could do the paint job. And I'm going to. In the future videos, I might be doing uh, supercharging these cars. You know, modify. I don't know which cars I can modify right now. So I'm just going to wait till the, till I get the paint job in libraries. So then I can make really really make customized cars. Alright, let's go check out some of the parts that I'm missing. Okay, the OBD, uh, I keep doing that all the time, but I don't know, all cars don't have OBD. Uh, this is a good option, you know, once you have some of the tools open, just test it out before you run. Even if it doesn't have, if it has most of the parts missing, you can still go and check out uh, some things like electricals and engine compression. They really help. I still have lots of tools that I haven't opened yet, but pff, I don't care. And I prefer when I get barnyard cars to get rid of all the stuff that is on there I just take off everything everything except for the body parts I'm, I'm not in that region yet so mechanical parts everything has to go everything has to go it's a fire sale right so I'm going to speed up the video a little bit after a while so because this thing takes a lot of time when I checked when I was doing the editing the video was somewhere around like 15 minutes that's a really really long video I don't want to waste you guys time so I prefer having short videos like 8 minutes 10 minutes 12 minutes uh, you guys enjoy it and it doesn't waste more every time all right so I'm just gonna buy some of the missing parts uh, just to have a feel of it see what all the things I have what do I don't have and then I'm just going to very very open let's see I have uh, missing heads had a missing carburetor cap or the cover so let's go get some heads it's a v8 ohv so there you go got a and i got b all right let's just put them on oh i'm missing some rocker arms you know what oh there you go see some more missing parts there's a fuel filter and there's the ignition coil and the exhaust manifold so you know what let's skip this let's get out of it start removing stuff all right filter you gotta go right what else do we have oh let's send it to the lift the first all right let's click it once so it gets jacked up open up the bonnet or the hood there you go start removing stuff there you go, the booster, the filter, the battery, with the carburetor. It looks really bad, I don't think it can salvage it. Alright. Uh, this thing might be fixable. Okay, what else do we have? We have the wires, the ignition distributor cap, the clips. I hate the clips, I mean, sometimes. Sometimes you're building the whole thing and the only thing missing is a clip and it just stops you from doing other stuff like selling it or if you have an order and you need to get rid of it and you just need to finish it off and give it away. And this part is missing. It's such an annoying thing. Right, so, okay, it has missing parts. Okay. That's a lot of parts. I hate this thing. So 16 of them. 16 rocker arms, 16 uh, uh, rods. 
Let me get some money here. Oh, sure. Uh, two, three, four. Things in line. Yeah. Let's speed up the video. Alright. Uh, a couple more carbon spark plugs. A rod. Another rod. There you go. Boom. Alright. Let's start from the back. Okay guys, now in the fast mode, I'm going to start from the back, because it makes it much faster, get rid of the wheels, uh, the tank, the, all the axles, everything, once everything is gone, taken care of, and I'm going to go back up front, remove the engine completely, remove everything, buy new tires, new wheels, new parts, and you can see, whatever part is missing I just added some parts I have already bought them long time back so they come in use and I don't have to spend extra money on buying more stuff and wasting time on the market or so once I get most of my parts installed I'll take them care of it makes it a much better thing uh, some of the parts are really weird you know like uh, uh, some parts keep hanging like if you're working on the back brakes once you remove the wheel and the brakes you can actually remove the hub and the small the brake cylinder would be just hanging in the air same thing happens with the the front row uh, and the front wheels with the not with the brakes though but with the uh, what do you call it the hub and the, uh, the thing it kind of looks weird you know some of the bolts are still running the other way and you know what I really hate when you take it for a test not on the test track but in the test uh, area for the brakes no matter how how much good you make the engine how much you fix it at a hundred percent you take it over then it still takes it five seconds to start up and just go it's kind of weird so I think if they're if the company is looking at the videos they can understand what problems we have and they can address them so as for that let's reach the end and uh
right so we're almost at the end and this is the final part now I need an oil pan uh, it should be an oil pan O8 or OHVV8 there you go put it back on there you go lock it in Okay, I think the car is done. We need to lower it and put in some oil, as they call it, soup oil. Right, so we go open up the cap. Okay, notice this over here. See the bottle, how it's uh, angled at like a 45 degrees? As soon as it goes a little bit low, there you go. See, that's it. You're done with the oil. Don't go, don't increase it and don't add any more oil because you're going to end up putting in a lot more oil. And that's about it. Ooh, look at that. The car value has come up to 40,000. I still haven't worked on a body. Sell it. And there you go. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my video.